who you just always you know uplifting other people you're always giving other people advice and you're just always there for people even if you don't always give people advice you're just always a listening ear you're waking up in the middle of the night listening to you know people the stuff they're going through um you're always just there for people when they're talking about their issues i'm here to tell you that there is a limit on it if god is calling you to be obedient and help that person then help them even if you know for a fact they're not going to take your advice help them but it's certain times he's not calling you to um help them every single time it's certain times he's he's really not Sometimes um, the enemy he has a way of making you feel guilty if you don't help these people every single time. The enemy has a way of making you feel guilty if you don't pick up the phone for these people every single time. Sometimes, yes, you are called to give them advice on their situation, but there's other times where you have to leave it alone and say, well, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, but just, just pray about it. You, you know, you can't let people's problems weigh on you you can't sit there all the time letting people drain you you can't sit there on the phone all the time letting people drain you with gossip or drain you with just these different issues you know your mental health is important too a way to determine if the people in your life are just using you is to just take a step back and examine just examine everyone in your life I ask myself, okay, Tanala, if I were to take my advice and what I can do for people out of my life, say if I didn't have the gift of encouragement, say if I wasn't always that listening ear, say if um, I didn't always know the right words to say, if I were to take that out, how would the relationship hold up? So just ask yourself that. You know, in other words, if I were to take out what I do for people, if I were to take that out of the circumstance and take it out of the picture, what what would the relationship consist of, you know? Because some people, if you just fully examine and you just think about just different relationships in your life, you'll realize that a lot of the relationships only consist of gossip. You'll realize that a lot of the relationships only consist of you helping them. to touch on a topic that um, not many people talk about. So I actually ran across a video last night that gave me confirmation and I feel like I should just share this with you all. I feel like I'm called to share this with you all. Um, because not only did I receive confirmation on what I've been, you know, feeling and hearing, but also a perfect example was provided to me today as well. And it just confirmed it even more. So I'm basically here to tell you, so those of you who are wise and who are always that source of encouragement for people and those of you who you're just always there for people you're always there for people you're always there to lift other people up you're always helping people through troubling times and helping them through their storms but you don't always have people there to help you through yours it seems like you're always helping everyone around you even when you're going through a storm you always getting yourself ready to help other people even when you're not always mentally there to help even when you're not always mentally there to do it you still push through and you do exactly what it is god wants you to do and you're just pushing through and you're helping other people who are in need but you don't always receive that help um if you're the type of person, um, you go through just these different storms, you know, you feel like other people aren't always there for you or other people 
don't always check in and see how you're doing. Or, you know, maybe you're the type of person who you have people who check in and ask you how you're doing, but you kind of feel like the people around you aren't, if they found out exactly what it was that you were facing, they won't be mentally capable of, you know, helping you through that. I know somebody out here, you're understanding exactly what it is that I'm talking about. Um, there may have been times you told them the probably the smallest portion of your storm, probably the like the part that you're least worried about. You probably told them a little piece and they didn't even respond the way that you thought that they would respond or they probably switched the subject back to them. You know, there is some people out there who know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm here to tell you that um, you've been doing the right thing by still encouraging people. You've been doing the right thing by still pushing through your own storms and helping other people out. But you must know your limits with it. And that's something that I literally am I'm learning in this season right now. I must learn my limits when it comes to helping people, not just physically helping people, but, you know, when it comes to helping people mentally and emotionally, I know that I'm called to help people. I know that I am a vessel. I know that my words serve as confirmation for people. I know that I have a gift, but there's a limit. It, it it comes to a point where, you know, people, they try to use you. Although you should always be obedient, if you are called to help specific people in your life and you're called to encourage people, even during your storms, even when you feel like you're falling down and you still got your hand up helping other people, you are still called, you're supposed to always be obedient and always help others, even when you don't feel like it. I'm going to try to go into further detail about it. So there may be times when um, you're helping people all the time. There may be times when God calls you to be obedient and give people advice, you know, on different things. And then um, after you have given them advice, they may call you in the middle of the night and you waking up out your sleep. You know, you got to get up early the next morning, but you waking up out your sleep, helping them. You're giving them encouragement. You're doing exactly what it is that you're called to do. So not only are you losing sleep and you're probably facing a storm as well behind closed doors that nobody knows about but you and God, but um, you may be going through all these things and putting your own personal issues and mental health aside to help other people. And then you find out the next day, all the advice you gave them, it feels like it went down a drain. Like you find out the next day, they did the exact opposite of what it was you, you know, you tried to help them through. You feel like you, you stayed up late. You, you gave them all this encouragement. You, you spent all these hours on the phone with these people and you're encouraging them and you're motivating them and then they turn around and do the exact opposite of what it was you told them that, you know, you feel like they should do. Um, and while you're giving them this advice, they may say, oh, you're right. Oh, this is confirmation. Oh, um, God had been telling me the same exact thing. Oh, you know, I, I thank you. I'm going to do that. And then they turn around and do the opposite. And when people do the opposite of what it was that you encouraged them to do, it's very discouraging. It's very discouraging. I have had many seasons of doing this, and it has taken a toll on my own mental health. And that's something that I will never, ever, ever allow to happen to me again. It's a very hurtful feeling. It's a very discouraging feeling. It makes you feel even lower than the storm that you're currently facing. You may be facing things on your own and no one knows about. And it makes you feel even lower when you're encouraging people, like you're being obedient and you're encouraging all these people around you and they turn around and do the opposite of what you said. And then, or it, it, it just feels discouraging because it makes you feel like, well, dang, like, did I really hear God correctly? Did I really hear him correctly when he told me to help this person? Like, dang, um, all the words of encouragement that I said, how I'm able to, like, 
see through their situation. I'm able to pinpoint exactly what it is they're going through without them, you know, fully telling me exactly what it is that they're going through. The way that I'm able to just see through and, and kind of see their future. And I'm getting glimpses. I'm seeing different things in my dreams that's confirming that all the words that I'm telling them is correct. And they turn around and do the opposite. Or they turn around and, and make you feel like, the stuff you saying, you were saying, you know, wasn't true. It makes you feel discouraged. It makes you feel like you wasn't, you weren't really hearing from God. It makes you feel like you're going crazy. And that's something I would never, ever allow to happen to myself again. So if you are going through something like this and you, you just always, you know, uplifting other people, you're always giving other people advice and you're just always there for people. Even if you don't always give people advice, you're just always a listening ear. You're waking up in the middle of the night listening to, you know, people, the stuff they're going through. Um, you're always just there for people when they're talking about their issues. I'm here to tell you that there is a limit on it. If God is calling you to be obedient and help that person, then help them. Even if you know for a fact they're not going to take your advice help them but it's certain times he's not calling you to um help them every single time it's certain times he's he's really not sometimes um the enemy he has a way of making you feel guilty if you don't help these people every single time the enemy has a way of making you feel guilty if you don't pick up the phone for these people every single time it's a, it's a limit on everything don't let people use you and um Another way to kind of tell and see if people are using you is if um people, there may be people out there who, you know, they call you or they text you and they say that they're um just checking up on you, right? So there may be people who, you know, are genuinely checking up on you and there are also people who say that they're checking up on you and they're right after you say, oh, I'm doing good, even if you know you're not doing good because the thing is, I feel like, I'm always doing good, no matter what, no matter what it is that I'm going through, no matter what it is I'm facing, I'm always doing good because um, God, he helps me through everything and no storm lasts forever. So yes, I'm always doing good. That's going to most likely always be my answer either way, no matter what I'm facing, most likely always be my answer. And um, so if some people, they they say that they're checking up on you and then right after you say you're doing good they get to pouring out you know just different things that they're going through and um sometimes you're not always called to help them sometimes yes you are called to give them advice on their situation but there's other times where you have to leave it alone and say well you know i'm sorry to hear that but just just pray about it you know you can't let people's problems weigh on you you can't sit there all the time letting people drain you you can't sit there on the phone all the time letting people drain you with gossip or drain you with just these different issues you know your mental health is important too oh yeah something else that um i must add to is a way to determine if the people in your life are just using you is to just Take a step back and examine. Just examine everyone in your life. I ask myself, okay, Tanala, if I were to take my advice and what I can do for people out of my life, say if I didn't have the gift of encouragement, say if I wasn't always that listening ear, say if um, I didn't always know the right words to say, if I were to take that out, how would the relationship hold up? How would it hold up? So just ask yourself that. You know, in other words, if I were to take out what I do for people, if I were to take that out of the circumstance and take it out of the picture, what, what would the relationship consist of? You know? Because some people, if you just fully examine and you just think about just different relationships in your life, you'll realize that a lot of the relationships only consist of gossip. You'll realize that a lot of the relationships only consist of you helping them. You'll realize that a lot of relationships only consist of them calling you just when they need help. You'll realize that a lot of... um 
relationships only consist of you listening to their problems all the time you know and it's not all about what people can do for you i know some of you are thinking like well yeah you know i do i was listening to these people but these people listen to me as well these people help me as well but it's not all about help because when you actually think about it everyone in your life who you have ever had an encounter with they have always helped you even if the encounter was negative even if it's someone you don't know like that they have always helped you in some sort of way they had it they have either been a lesson or a blessing so everyone who you have ever had an encounter with has always been um helpful to you whether you realize it or not so just think about it that way you know think about it that way think about if i were to take that out of the equation my help what would this relationship consist of like what type of encounter would this be if i were to take my help out of it although and and that's the thing like just think about it that way and that's going to really tell you if someone is using you or not like okay if i were to limit my help with this person would this still be you know a good relationship a lot of relationships um friendships different uh, encounters it only consists of people needing one another you know it's like where's the laughter where's the joy a lot of things nowadays just only consist of gossip and just listen to one another's problems and it's like what is it's so much more to life than that i'm telling you it's so much more to life than that if you if you need it if you need to vent it's okay it's okay to vent every now and then okay but it's like it's possible to just have a relationship with god that's strong enough where it's like okay i know either way i'm gonna come out on the end in the end i'm gonna be good i'm gonna be okay it's really relationships out there that consist of just laughter, joy, and fun. It's, it's not all of this give and take, you know? So just know the limits. So I must also add this as well. So if you are the type of person who is always giving other people advice and they never take it, you have to learn how to remove yourself out of the situation. You have to know that you did your best. You was obedient and you gave the best advice you could possibly give. And that if they don't take it, then, you know, that's really, that's really on them. You can't beat yourself up or be mad or feel discouraged when other people are not taking your advice. And whenever these people come back to you and they tell you what they decided to do in a situation and it was completely opposite from what, you know, you believe God told you to tell them, then you have to just tell them like, okay, well, you know, that's good. Or, you know, well, do what's best for you. Or, okay, well, that's good to hear, you know. You have to just tell them stuff like that and leave it at that. You can't go back and forth with them or you and you cannot beat yourself up about the fact that they didn't take your advice. So, yeah, that's the best way to sum it up. And just don't allow people's own life situations. Do not allow it to take a toll on your own mental health. Okay, because it can be like that when you're always encouraging other people and uplifting other people and being there for other people. And, you know, you don't have that many physical people. And I say physical because really we, people like us, a lot of people like us, we rely on God to help us and lift us back up during our times of trouble. But, you know, everyone in the world is not like that. Everyone don't have that same relationship with god just yet if you are that type of person who you know you're just 
always there for people and listening to other people situations all the time you gotta know you gotta know the limit you gotta pray and ask god when the limit is and how can you apply it and you cannot allow that situation to stress you out tell yourself that you will no longer allow other people's issues to stress you out be obedient you know do what you're called to do and um afterwards just pray about it pray take it to the lord and if they don't take it then you gotta let it roll on off you can't you can't worry about it because at the end of the day you have your own life to live okay so i hope that this message was encouraging i hope that it helps someone out there i'm here to tell you to keep going keep pushing keep giving that advice keep being that vessel of encouragement but you are important as well all right so i love y'all so so much be blessed bye